Here's our existing animal robot. It's got lights and a speaker and motor. So let's power it on. There we are. The lights give it some character. The motors give it a little bit of locomotion. And the speaker gives it some kind of voice to express itself. There you are, wobbling around. And that's what it does. How does it work? Well, it's got some logic gates under here, logic gates under here, and a driver IC, and that's what it does, like it or not. We've got the three volt batteries here to power the motor, and we've got a 12 volt battery on the top to power the lights. So, it can't get any better than that, can it? Yes, it can. Let's just turn this off, and Let's show you its cousin. Looks quite similar, but we don't have any logic gates this time. You still got the speaker, still got the motor, still got the lights. But instead of the AND gates, we've got the Arduino microprocessor. Still got the battery on top and so on. This gives us a lot more control. Come on then, cousin, let's see what you can do. So what we have here, the lights of the character, he's learnt to sing, and we've got the same vibration motors on the back here to make it swivel around. We still have three volt batteries underneath to power the motors, and they also power the loudspeaker as well. But everything, all the intelligence, everything is coming from the microprocessor inside. What is controls on the top? Let's see. He's learnt lots and lots of music here. We're in Hotel California now. We can make it go faster. Or we can slow it down. So there you are. What's so nice is we have so much more control with the microprocessor. And it takes much less time to do. You don't have to wire up all those AND gates. Sorry AND gates, but you are out of date and other fashion. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.